name is Gil Reynolds, and thank you very much for joining me today. I want to talk about a type of glass shaping technique that I call making flow bars. And flow bars are a glass rod where we've let the imagery flow and create different patterns that we normally wouldn't get just by stacking the elements together. We have some type of obstacle or opening where the glass has to move and flow, and then we catch it down below in some type of a tray or container, and it gives us a finished rod. This is an example of a glass rod that was set up in such a way that the glass could flow down into a pattern. We'll take and cut slices off of this rod, and these slices are going to be elements that we will use in our fused work. So this particular piece here is using a pattern slice very similar to this one. I want to talk about all the essentials. We're going to talk about the tools you're going to need, types of saws, because we need a diamond saw to cut these rods. We're going to talk about containers and refractory materials that we use, firing schedules, different setups that we can have using the kiln to create different patterns in the kiln, different ways to organize your colors to get different looks, and how to incorporate these slices in our fuse work. It's a primer. It's not a total in-depth that we're going to cover a lot of territory. You're going to have all the skills you need to go home and make fused glass flow bars on your own. So thanks again. Fasten your seatbelts. we got a wild ride. <laughs>